What's going on LEGO Maniacs? It's Ty the LEGO Guy here and welcome to another episode of Old School Wednesdays. Today we're returning to the ninja theme and taking a look at the robber's retreat that set 6088. It had 277 pieces, four minifigs retailed for 30 US and it came out in 1998. Now nowadays the set's going for 206 new or 64 used and I was actually very surprised how much I like this set. How sizable it is too for 277 pieces, we're gonna get into that. Anyways, this one should get interesting, but enough talk, let's get right into it. And to start us off, we'll begin by taking a look at the first smaller build that's included in the set. It's basically this little carriage siege weapon. And I actually quite like it. It actually has a hidden little compartment as well. Which we'll just show off. So inside of it, if you open it up, it reveals a hidden katana. Which I thought was pretty awesome. And then it has a mini little catapult. We'll actually just demonstrate how that kind of works. Bang, she's off. Overall, I really like the creativity with this little thing. There isn't much to it. I mean, it is quite small, but it works. If your kid has some good drivability as well. Overall, pretty awesome little build. Let's now take a look at the hang glider. And we'll begin by giving you guys a 360 view of the glider, just like we did with the other smaller build. And I found these really unique. I haven't really seen Lego include hang gliders in any other theme. In the ninja theme, it was predominant. You got one of these in almost every medium to larger set, and I'm okay with that. I, I think they actually look pretty awesome. Pretty simple build. There's a number of spears on it. These uh, wings are just made of lighter plastic, and you can very easily actually just remove the ninja, and he just basically holds on with those handlebars. Overall, pretty cool looking little build. Let's now take a look at the meat of the set. And now we've made our way to the robber's retreat. And I have to say, I was shocked how large this set was. In fact, when I built it, I did not realize that it only had 277 pieces. That just goes to show that, you know, price per piece isn't everything. This is quite sizable. It also has two smaller builds and it's actually very unique for the uh, ninja theme with the overall look of it. There's a lot going on. Let's now break it down area by area. And the first area we'll take a look at is actually just the front of the fortress. So you get these awesome doors and they do actually have some very unique printing. It almost reminds me of Ronin, which is basically a samurai without a ma master. That's basically what I think that this fortress is sort of trying to depict. And you also get a flag or a banner. Give you guys a closer view of that. Again, it just has that logo. That's the same logo that you'll see on the doors. And to enter, basically, it's very easy. Just push it back like so. Now let's move to the back of the fortress. This has one of the best, basically, booby traps. So cool, let's actually just this door, there's nothing really behind that rock. But anyway, it's kind of interesting. So the first thing you'll notice is probably that booby trap, which we will get into. But before we do that, you'll notice they have this little area where they have a katana. Now we're just gonna actually pull that out. I thought this was awesome with this little sword, but you can actually open it to reveal the awesome chrome gold pieces. So these uh, robbers have loot, these Ronin and they're kind of putting it in that little stand. So I thought that was actually pretty cool along with the little sword. Now the booby trap is what we're gonna get into next. So let's actually show you guys how that works. So let's say there's a rival ninja or maybe you know one of the samurai has snuck his way into the fortress. He's trying to steal the katana and the loot. Well, what you can kind of do with this or what you can do with this, see this little Technic pin? Well, if you pull it, bang. So kind of morbid, part of the reason I love it because the, the, this ninja theme was a little bit more hardcore. They had like blades and all kinds of uh, booby traps which may seem a little bit more adult but I think that's actually really awesome. 
let's actually make our way to the top of the fortress. So the first thing you'll notice is this little jail cell. And you can actually very easily just access the samurai by opening up the door. But what is cool about it is you can actually mix and match it a little bit. So if you wanted to sort of have this all on one level, you could kind of do that. Very easily, you can very easily just remove it. So let's actually just uh, show you guys just like so. Now, I don't particularly like the look of this as much as the original look, but it's good for playability. I mean, if you want to mix and match it, if you're a kid, and as you can see, it actually gets taken apart just like a modular. Just giving you guys a little bit more view of the top. Let's actually show it though in the form it's supposed to be displayed in, which is like so. I mean, the other form didn't look too bad, but I just, I do prefer the way this looks with this kind of like menacing tower. Let's give you guys a little bit better view though of the top. Now, what I liked about it is it has a little patio deck, I guess, for a ninja. And you can kind of just stand on there and keep watch. What would have been cool is that if they had maybe a little dynamite or something that could blow open a wall so that you could kind of try and uh, rescue the samurai, but they don't really have that, which isn't the end of the world, but it would have been a nice inclusion. Again, they have one of those little flags, the banner of the uh, rogue, basically samurai or ninja, whatever you want to call them. Overall, this is a pretty awesome set. Let's now take a look at the minifigs. And now we've come to the minifig segment of the video. So here's three of the four minifigs. I'm gonna mention right now, you get two of the black ninjas. They are identical. So we're just gonna be taking a look at the one. Let's give you guys a 360 view of them. As you can see, they're very simple, like simple by today's standards, but they have a lot of great things going on. Like for instance, their helmets, I think are phenomenal. The ninja basically piece, I think is also great. Believe it or not, this was made all the way back in the 90s. Not, it didn't come out with the Ninjago theme. These are basically like the old school or OG Ninjago uh, sets, if you want to call them that. First thing I wanted to mention was this awesome looking younger samurai. I think that he looks actually pretty, pretty great. You can actually remove his helmet just to reveal, it's almost like a little braid that he has over his uh, head, on his forehead basically. And then we have the robber samurai, or ninja, whatever you want to call him. He really reminds me of a ronin masterless samurai basically and he kind of looks a little bit like Johnny Thunder which I always thought was kind of cool and then on the far right we have the ninja let's actually just remove his headgear to reveal his torso a little bit better along with his face I love the fact that he has some little throwing stars and uh, a smaller blade there is no back face printing back torso printing but overall I do love these figs 90s minifigs are some of my favorite just because they're detailed enough, but they're not so overly detailed that they still have like that classic look. It's sort of like the perfect in between, you know, between like 80s minifigs and uh, current ones. Anyways, that pretty well does the minifigures. Let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. When I bought this set, I thought, you know what, it's gonna be a decent set, but I didn't have much expectations for it. Then I built it, and I'm actually very surprised how much I like it. Like, I love the little, you know, where, the, where you pull the Technic pin out and the ninja blades, the katanas, fly down and hit the intruder, or maybe, you know, the young samurai who's trying to escape. The overall look of this is actually very unique too. It's not so castle-y, it's, it's like kind of woody, mixed in with rock, I like that as well. Overall, I was very impressed with this set. I like the two smaller builds, and for 277 pieces, this is a perfect example of why price per piece isn't any everything. This set, if they made this set nowadays, this would be, at this scale, at this size, it would be a 50 US dollar set, hands down. I have no doubt about it. Yet, it only had 277 pieces. So price per piece isn't everything. This set's very sizable for only 277 pieces. Like, if you saw this on display, you'd think, hey, that set must have maybe like 400 pieces. It, it has way less than that. Overall, I'm very impressed with it. I, I love these 90s Lego sets. You guys know probably that, you know, I'm very much into older Lego sets. And this is a perfect example why it has great playability, 
It's a great display piece. The minifigs are good. Overall, I really like this set, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are on it. If you like it, if you don't, any areas you think they could maybe improve on it. Overall, I think it's I think it was a very fair price for 30 US, and if you can snag it for 60 US, I'd say it's worth the buy. But yeah, that's all I got for today. But if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future old new sets we do. We do one of them basically every Wednesday, if not every Wednesday, every second Wednesday, and I really, really like doing them. But yeah, that's all I got for you again. But thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.